What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Just Move Live back with another video. Today, we got another RDC World 1 skit. We got how Bronny was after getting drafted to the Lakers. Uh, before we start with this skit, bro, the, the, the disgust and hate towards Bronny is, is insane. I get it. Look, the only reason why I'm not saying shit is because if this wasn't LeBron James' child, I would be saying shit. Like, if this was another person... I would be talking shit. Like, if there was another person that, that averaged two points or whatever they say, LeBron averaged and made the NBA, I would talk shit. I talk shit about Thanos. So I don't blame y'all for talking shit when it comes to that. But some people out here just it just doing it because it's Bron's kid. Like, if Bronny James was absolute fucking dirt shit, I would be pissed. But the nigga, like, we, we, like, he's, he's good. He, yeah, fucking, he's not producing shit when it comes to the points and all that shit, the shit y'all look at. But the second thing you say, oh, this person don't score a lot. What do nigga, look, put it like this, right? Say an NBA game happened, right? And we like, boom, 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 need help. This nigga not producing. Ba scoring isn't the only thing in basketball. Scoring, but now, now that he gets, that's all they bring up. Why don't no one bring up the defensive side of what he do? You know, the energy he put into it, what he does as a team. No one brings up none of that shit now. But now it's just about he don't got this much points, so he 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 not good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's pretty much a goalpost move. But then again, don't act stupid. This is the kid of the most hated human being to walk planet Earth, literally over Hitler. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Uh, me personally, like I said, he I this nigga better produce. I'm not finna sit here. Like I don't give a fuck whose kid the nigga is, bro. You know what I'm saying? You better produce, like, dead ass. Like, I want the nigga pr to produce. I don't want him to be ass. Uh, whether it be just him being a great defender, that will mean a lot. Like, bro, it's neat. And this is what I hate so much, bro. Y'all keep talking about this crazy ass shit. Like, there's niggas like Jared Vanderbilt sitting on the roster already. What the fuck can Bronny do that Jared... What is, like, you know what I'm saying? What are they really missing? What are they really losing? There's niggas like Gabe Vincent sitting on the roster. And y'all worried about a nigga who actually might get on the court. Like, that's what I don't understand. It makes no fucking sense. You niggas have Jared Vanderbilt, Gabe Vincent, D'Angelo Russell, niggas like Klay Thompson are in the NBA. Like, y'all talking about, y'all skipping over all these dudes and y'all talking about some, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Uh, but like I said, time gonna have to tell until the summer league come around. Fuck the, the clips we gonna see practicing shit. I don't care about none of that shit. Until the summer league come around and preseason, we're not gonna know how good the nigga is. So I guess that's how long we gonna have to wait. But let's get into it. I just want to say thank you to the Lakers organization for taking a chance. Does Bronny even still have this hair? What haircut does Bronny even? I don't even fucking know myself. It means the world to me, but I'm here to work. I got a chip on my shoulder and I got. He here to work. He here to work. You heard that, Digo? <laughs> so Digo, this is what we're gonna do for the first ten games. Bronny gonna start, and when we. <laughs> and I'm totally okay with that, and I am totally okay with that. D'Lo is not no crazy guard to be not replacing anyways. He gonna work. You heard that, D'Lo? <laughs> so, D'Lo, this is what we're going to do for the first 10 games. Bronny going to start. What, we gonna, what, we, no, no, what you mean? What, what? I don't want to take his spot. Let me let me earn no, it. No, no, he cool with it. He cool with it. D'Lo, we, we didn't already talk about it. What? Let, let, me, let me earn my spot on the court. They're not going to take me seriously. No, you earned your spot. What you mean? No, you no, earned your spot. <laughs> Bro, if Bronny, it, it's literally a zero chance of this happening. We all know that. But if Bronny were to get out this bitch and start, oh, my gosh, the hate and the dick riding would be fun. Bro, I don't think, bro, I wouldn't even touch Twitter for the first, like, week of that of that happening. If Bronny came out that bitch and started his first game, oh, my gosh. Y'all would not let that go. Y'all would, y'all just wouldn't. I seen you hoop every day. No, I'm not starting. <laughs> let me, let me, let me work. To, let me work. You to starting. Get I'm you not starting. starting. You starting. I'm not going back and forth with you. <laughs> All right, I brought you into this world. You starting. Now, get back to your damn moment. <laughs> Bro, it is low key funny how I'm not like niggas been saying oh Bronny controls teams all these years, but this year dead ass you can't say the nigga literally made a podcast, made a nigga his head coach instantly. It has his fucking kill on his team. The nigga is pulling some crazy strings. This year I could say Bronny built the team. Y'all or LeBron, y'all finally got it. Bron built the team. Y'all can finally dick ride him and hate him. He built the team he has. Somewhat. I'm gonna to talk to you yet. But what? Since that. Yeah. What? Uh, on Twitter? Uh... Oh, no, no, LeBron. You know, I would never, never say that. I, I just want to say how grateful I am for you. Right? Bro, <laughs> I did I did see this shit right here. A, a bit talking about uh, JJ Reddit called her a nigga, bro. In tw I think she said 2014. She said 2014 or 2020. I don't remember the day. I didn't literally care about any of that. Bro, why would you wait this long? And first of all, why does it, like, I'm not saying that he could just run around saying niggas in pairs, but why does it really matter? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you really, like, a white, okay, I get it. He's white. He called you a nigga. I, if another random white person walked up to that same woman and called her a nigga, she probably went on her day and drove coconuts out of a straw throughout the rest of the week. But since a guy, I mean, yes, I guess it's because of his uh, status, blah, blah, he called you a nigga, which he, he, hold on. I almost just went no face cam out this bitch just because I'm so annoyed by that shit. I almost just went no face cam. If if it was blurred for more than like 20, 30 seconds, this shit would not be up. Just letting y'all know that now. Uh, but um, yeah, I get it because of yeah, he he's famous. You always want to try to fuck up a famous person or get a bag from them niggas. We all know how the life works. But like, bro, the nigga called you a nigga. Like, what is the scenario that happened for him to just called you a nigga? I want to know that too. I didn't read all of it. Like I said. Uh, but he called you nigga five years ago. Like, come on. Y'all got to be serious. And how is this not a beatable allegation from J.J. Reddick? The nigga could literally just be like, bro, I don't know who that is. Like, like you know what I'm saying? That's literally like me, myself, saying, bro, that nigga Joe Biden called me a nigga. And it actually going viral and big. What is that even like? How are we believing? I mean, I'm not saying the nigga didn't because he could have. But, like, it's so unbelievable. Like, I don't know, bro. I hired me as head coach, though. I appreciate you. I hired you as no head coach. Yeah, that was wrong. No, after the podcast, you said you don't hire me as head coach. No, that was wrong. That was wrong. So I guess I am starting now. Sorry, D-Lo. But treat me no different. Treat me no different. Same for you, Dad. Treat me no different. Of course not, sir. Yell at me like you yell at them. No, I don't yell at nobody. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes, you do. And also, I know you're my father, and I love and appreciate everything that you did. But in this locker room and on the court... I'm calling you LeBron. No, you're not. I'm calling you LeBron. No, you're not. I'm calling no, you LeBron. No, you know what? This, <laughs> this is your moment. Bro, I, I seen all this disclosure going around about what's he going to call him on the court. Like, at first I was like, why is everyone making this? Because I wasn't thinking. I'm like, why is everyone trying to be sus with shit so bad? And the one saying daddy, y'all are just literally gay. Y'all trying to be sus so fucking bad. But uh, but I was like, bro, he's going to call him LeBron. Like, what? why y'all being sus? Then I'm like, oh, that's his literal. I'm like, oh. Then it hit me, and I was like, damn, like. What, what, what is, bro? Is he real? Like, bro, it's going to be weird because it's like, <laughs> bro, that's going to be so weird. Because this dead ass, like, dead, dead. Like, that's so weird. Like, LeBron might, like, maybe he going to get used to it, like, not being LeBron every time, you know? Or in it, because, like, dead can sound like a different player or different fucking, you know? You know what I'm saying? But that's that's actually going to be, like, I don't know. I'm guessing dead. Like, what else would he call the fucking guy? But that is going to be, like, mm. But, I love but then again, do niggas even, bro? Think of well, if you hoop, who calls people? Who said why? Why? Why are you even saying someone else's name on the court unless you're talking to them? Like I don't ask when someone has the bottom. But hey, this person right here, what the fuck? I just be like, nigga, pass that bit. The only time you might say their name is if you go by them, be like, okay, boom, hey, boom, you gonna do this play, boom, boom, you know, or boom, boom, hit me right there. Niggas don't walk around just saying people's name on the court. Like y'all just want to make shit sus. Hey, son, you do whatever you do, man. We're talking about a rock. Somebody don't take me serious, man. What they don't take you serious? No, they don't. Who? Who? Say their name. Who don't take you serious? <laughs> he said, say their name. No, no, no. What's Dino? Dino? No, no. Dino? 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 Now, I just want to say real quick, this is the team that Bro, I the just, Like, I actually want to know how it feels on from Le, from LeBron and Bronny's POV, from the from the teammate. Like, how does this feel for everyone? I really want to know. Like, For sure. This is the team that can beat the Nuggets. Mm. We got my son starting point guard, <laughs> uh, D'Lo, coming off the bench. Uh, we got two, two white shooters. Y'all yeah. know what that is. That's straps. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we got J.J., one of the top coaches. Y'all <laughs> yeah. know what that was. We got JJ. He gonna he gonna do he gonna do his thing. He know Hopefully. what he's doing. Even though he ain't got much experience in the coaching, trust me, he know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just clap it up for Bronny. Bill, <laughs> clap it up for Bronny. <laughs> bro, the funniest thing about this skit is because bro, everyone really like. There's no one that really thinks like, bro. No one thinks Bronny earned this. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, all this shit is going to be what time going to have to tell. You feel me? No one going to know. But if Bron I really pray that Bronny come out goaded, bro. If this nigga come out here hooping, bro, I, I just, when he shut y'all up, it's going to be a, a beautiful feeling. You know what I'm saying? But let me know what y'all think about Bronny joining the Lakers. Do you think it was a cash grab? What do y'all think, man? If y'all like me, like, comment, subscribe, tell you think that, but let's next time we out. Peace.